a significant update in the Lucy Ledby case, which could have serious repercussions for the NHS and indeed the former bosses of the hospital at which she worked. That being that the inquiry into why concerns that were raised were not dealt with sooner, why they took so long to be dealt with, and of course what happened overall, has now been upgraded to a statutory inquiry. As I said previously, it should have been a statutory inquiry, and many others have had the same view that it should be a statutory inquiry, including the Ombudsman. Um, there's also a potential explanation in this video as to why uh, potentially there might have been some delay in doing so. The Health Secretary, uh, Steve Barclay, uh, said that um, he wanted to discuss the terms of the inquiry with the families beforehand, before upgrading it. And uh, now that it will be a judge-led inquiry, the Prime Minister has confirmed that this reflects the wishes of those families. One of the reasons that it might have been delayed is not only is a statutory inquiry a judge-led inquiry that has the statutory powers to call evidence, but uh, under Section 21 of the Inquiries Act 2005, the power of the chairman of the inquiry has the power, the statutory authority, uh, to require the production of evidence either for people to attend to give evidence or to produce documents that are in their custody or control uh, that have a matter in question relative to the inquiry. Why is that important? Because potentially um, it can cut through any terms of confidentiality. So typically in an NHS inquiry, uh, those would obviously be the confidential nature of the parties involved who uh, might well have their documents and records called forth as evidence and for um, employees, uh, even for em employees of the hospital to give evidence about such uh, patients of the hospital and thus uh, it's understandable that the minister wanted to discuss this with the families beforehand. That is um, my guess as to why there's been some sort of delay, um, because those confidentiality aspects may be overridden and will quite feasibly be overridden by the calling of evidence by this inquiry. And otherwise, a non-statutory inquiry um, would have had a more difficult time calling um, any evidence uh, at all and certainly cutting through those confidentiality aspects. But the power of a statutory inquiry um, is provided by the Inquiries Act and certainly uh, by Section 21, which provides the chairman of the inquiry to call forth all of this evidence. So this inquiry will now be a statutory inquiry as to what happened, what didn't happen, what steps were taken, how the complaints were dealt with when they came in. Uh, for example, we've heard consultants' complaints that they were made to apologise to Lucy Letby even uh, before anything was done about what she was doing at the hospital. So all of these issues, uh, I expect, will be uh, turned over in great detail by this judge-led statutory inquiry, calling evidence from each of those concerned and documentary evidence to support um, the evidence trail as to exactly what happened. And all of this comes uh, about a week or so after the family's indication that they might choose to sue the NHS for what happened. Um, and we have a video talking about the negligence aspects over on The Art of Law. I will link that uh, in the description below. You can go and check that out as well, because a typical claim in that regard would probably be for negligence. So for more on that, check out that video in the description below. Um, and finally, um, there are, of course, uh, not forgotten, the families uh, of children um, for whom the jury could not reach a verdict. And it is still possible that there might be a retrial on those particular cases. And not to mention, um, there may potentially be many thousands more. Um, so we will wait to hear, if, if anything, what happens with those. And of course, I'll come back to talk about those in due course. In the meantime, if you do like these updates, please do remember to hit that like button for me. I really appreciate that. And subscribe for further content. And I'll see you next time.